What's up guys, today we're going to be doing something pretty epic, we're going to be battling Rarity Collection, the OCG Premium Gold Edition versus our English Maximum Gold, so I believe, I'm not totally sure that this is 15 packs, so I have 15 packs of Maximum Gold here, we're going to go head to head, we're going to see which one has better pulls, you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments, and the giveaway for this video, I'll give away these three old school super rares, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know who you think won between Rarity Collection and Maximum Gold. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's pop open this Rarity Collection. I've never opened this. This was sold to me by a viewer, so thank you so much for selling me. This is really awesome. All right, let's start off with the Rarity Collection. We're going to have our pack opening tested here. Wait, okay, let's try the flap before we give up on it. Okay, so they said everybody said, do it over to the right and go like that. Oh, yeah. I'm basically a master. Oh, whoa, whoa. We got a good start. Oh, wait, okay. I'm a master that can't open the pack, so... Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay, so we have a Raigeki right off the bat. That's pretty cool. Super rare. Okay, let's try and open... Oh, my. I think we have... A, oh, okay. Cyber Dragon. Nactor. There's a uh, tour guide from the Underworld. I, a Monster Reborn Collector Rare. Wow, that's actually really cool. The original OCGR that we have in the Lost Art with collector rarity and it, their collector rarity looks even better i hope the newer collectors rares they said they're going to be making them pop a little bit more i hope they do that for the english from genesis impact even though they are not the, the collector's rares i was looking for so that's a good start already for the uh, ocg side you guys i'm not going to total up the ocg prices because it's going to be ridiculous trying to find prices i'll put up the uh i'll put up the maximum gold for the good stuff probably so my hurl of the arc lights is not going to count <laughs> There's a number S39 Utopia the Lightning and Lady Debug. Yeah, the problem with opening maximum gold for me is it is brutal to edit in all the prices because there's two every single pack. There's two gold rares. So I might I might stick to like decent pulls this time because it's it killer. When I edited that first maximum gold video where I opened 80 packs, there was 160 different prices. It was it was pretty rough. There we go. Pot of extravagance. Okay. Ooh, wait, another collector rare? Right, wh wait, I think you only get two per box. So we did we just get them both right off the top? That is crazy. Okay, that is the, uh, what is this one called? The One of the ghost girls is like something about a root or something. I can't remember what this one's called. That one's, I like the Monster Reborn more, but that's still cool. So I think, in my opinion, OCG has got to be ahead with two collector rares. There's no collector rares in here, but there's also more of the gold options, so... Eater of Millions. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay, we're taking the lead here. The, the English is probably just taking the lead. I don't know, it depends on what you think about the Monster Reborn. Blue Eyes White Dragon, that is incredible. Okay, that's... This is going to be a good a good battle here. And then a Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Okay. You guys not too crazy. Pretty much the only gold letter rare that's worth anything is the Toad. So, other than that, there's not much. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Last time went pretty decent. That one didn't go decent. See, it, look, it's just it's just weird. I, like, why do they do this? I know that they've been doing it for a long time, yada yada, but still, it looks weird. Or it's weird. Okay, here we go. Where did I put my... Okay, there's too many stacks here. This is confusing. Here we go, Levian here. Oh, see, look at that. That looks incredible. That looks so good. I really like how that looks. I can't remember what this guy's called, but he's from, uh, he's from Dimension of Chaos. I should know. He's a rare in there. So I should know that, but that's still really cool. I like that secret rare. It looks really awesome. Okay, so we're in a tight one right now. Maximum gold. Here we go. Pretty much blue eyes is the number one pull, and permanence would be great as well. So, yeah, I got to stop opening like this. It's weird. Okay, Elemental Hero Stratos. That's a good one. Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Okay, pretty good. Dimensional Prison. Let's sleep up the Stratos. I think he's only like $1.50, but still not a bad hit. Rarity collection next. Here we go. I'm actually I'm actually really enjoying this rarity collection. Except I can't open it. It's really scary on that corner too. There's only like four cards per pack, which is I didn't realize. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What is this? Uh, Return of the Dragon Lords or something? There's a spooky dogwood. Oh, not Nocture. I, I never know how to say this. Cyber Dragon. N a c h s t e r. Is that how you spell it? I think. That looks beautiful, though. Absolutely beautiful. I, the OCG just has... They're on another level with the rarities. Like, we're catching up. We're getting some good ones, finally. But uh, they're still they're still way ahead. They got some great stuff. 
Anti-Magic Arrows, that's actually really cool. I haven't pulled that much. And another S39, the Lightning, a Colt Wing, our classic common from uh, Judgment of the Light, even though it's now not worth as much anymore, which is pretty sad, Judgment of the Light. They still have the Chicolates, though, so don't worry. See, I just don't like this. I like I like opening it like this. I might open from the bottom. I think it's faster, to be honest. For me, who's a noob at opening these things. Maxi, that's cool. Infinite Impermanence. Are these, are these like, worth... Okay, okay, what is that card? Is that a Nobleman of Crossout? It's the same dude from... Okay, is this a Nobleman? You guys are going to have to let me know. But, uh... Is Impermanence worth something in Japanese over here? Like, does anybody buy them? I'm going to set it aside because obviously it's Impermanence. That's a really good card. Maybe we'll get it in English. I feel like the Japanese is doing pretty good, though. We still have to wait for our Gold Rare pull, though, which is going to be crazy. And apparently they look super, super good in Japanese. There's a Constellar Ledius. Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds. Machine Dude. There's so many good rares. Zodiac Dryden. Okay, we're going upside down on this one. We are done um, conforming to the pattern of Japanese. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, there's another. Okay, we got that as secret rare already. That's super cool that you can like, that you can do it where there's like, oh, nice harpy's feather duster. That's really cool. I'm actually gonna set that aside. Sky striker mobilize engage. I think. You would think I would. You know, it feels like everybody knows that if you play, but I don't. So, uh, harpy's feather duster. I really like. All right, come on, gold. We're, we're on a we're on a cold streak. We really only pulled like two really like good cards out of gold. So we really need something to win this battle. There's a nurse dragon maid. It's not bad. There's a phantasmal dragon and a house dragon maid. Lots of dragon maids. There's a DD warrior lady. They're getting a lot of goat reprints around here. All right, still looking for that gold rare. I'm not sure. Is there anything else we'll get, or will we get secret rares in every other pack? I can't remember. No. I don't see this opened too much, so I'm not... There's a Halifambrex. Grand Maju de Isa. There's a Cyber Dragon Infinity. Ooh, Foolish Burial Goods. That's really cool. Yeah, you guys will have to let me know, like, do people, like, buy these Japanese cards from in the United States? Obviously, people in Japan do, but... Because, you know, if I sell these, I'm be like, who do I sell these to? <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness! Talk about a ding! Okay, it was just a front card, fortunately. Chateau. Ooh, El Glitz the Golden Lord and a Metal Marcher. All right, that's pretty good. There's El Glitz the Golden Lord. I think he went down from the original price, but still, that is a good pull. Still one of the better cards in the set. All right. Rarity Collection. Give us some fire. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the video. We are on our way to 40. Don't know what we're going to do for 40, but it will probably be pretty epic. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, Relinquish Anima. That's actually sweet. Man, I love this secret. It looks super good. It looks incredible, actually. As if it's super good and incredible are different. They're not. They're not really that different. Okay. Trap Tricks. Tour Guide. That's sick. Dark Lord Morningstar and Polly. That's a very good pack with a terraforming. That is super cool. Yeah, and I, the, all the tour guides have, like, the double stamped, it looks like. They're almost all like that, at least all I've seen. Polymerization. Really cool. I really like the poly thing. It looks good. Okay. All right, all right. Let's give it another try. Screw it. Let's give it another try. See if we can pull the fire here. All right, we got a Foolish Burial Goods. Super rare. Ooh, I can't remember that guy's name. I think it has something to do with Armageddon, maybe. Ooh. There is a... What, why did I just forget what this was called? Uh, Ghost Ogre. And a Sky Striker. Is that Kigari, or is that the other one? I can't remember. No, it's a Sky Striker, though. And, uh... Yeah, Ghost Ogre is not a bad pull. So, what, who do you guys think is winning right now? Let me know in the comments. Who do you think is winning this battle? I think it's going to be close, to be honest. I think it's going to be pretty close. Because there's some, been some good pulls on both sides, I think. Trap Tricks, Mantis, Trick, tra trick Star Reincarnation, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood, and Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. So there's the uh, there's the Ghost Girl pack. I haven't pulled many of this art. I've pulled one, I think. That's two now. Okay. Oh, let's go back to it. It worked okay last time. Boom! That is how you do it. Okay, maybe I'm just a noob. That's how you do it right there. It's going to be hard not to spoil the gold rare. There's a Spot Frog. Super Poly. That's nice. 
Oh, impermanence in the secret rare. That's probably actually worth something. Secret rare impermanence. That's definitely nice. And then you got the ultra polymer. It's weird how like, can they be in like any slot or something? Or is it just like ultras are always ultras or secrets or in supers or supers or secrets? Is that how that works? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments how this exactly works. Gaia. That's actually really cool. It's not worth much, but it's cool. And a Stardust Charge Warrior. I, we haven't gotten a single frog. That, is, that guy's hard to pull. Okay, let's see if we can do this again. Oh my goodness. Am I a pro now? Am I a pro at this? Am I legitimately the best OCG opener of all time? Okay, there we go. There is a Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. And a Max C. That feels like it's a good pack. Head out of Phantasma as well. Super rare. So I feel like that was good. I mean, there's so many cards that I feel like are decent out of the OCG I've just set aside. Um, but I really don't know what the values are. And I don't really know how to find OCG values other than like eBay, but it's a little bit skewed because it's looking at North American sales and you know, it's not as popular over here, etc. Gaia again, back to back. Noble Knight Brothers, Domain of the True Monarchs. Reinforcement of the Army is actually pretty cool for like go format if you wanted to use gold rares. All right, we're getting down to the last few. Oh, okay, I'm not the best. I saw, oh, I think we just spoiled our gold rare. Okay, let's save the gold rare for last. I think I just saw it was a gold rare. I don't want to spoil it. I mean, I did, but I, I didn't mean to. So, oh wait, I shouldn't have skipped this. <laughs> wait, time out. Okay, we're gonna set that there. We're, we're just doing crazy stuff here. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna open this one, and we're gonna open up that uh, other one. Oh gosh, we got relinquish anima super rare. Here we go. We got called by the grave. That's pretty good. Ash blossom. Okay, and a cyber dragon infinity. So we're pulling good. I think we're pulling good. I'm setting the, there's going to be a way bigger pile of Japanese pulls, but not because it's necessarily better, just because I don't know what's actually worth something and what's not. I do know a lot more about maximum gold because we've opened a bunch of packs. Anti-Magic Arrows, number S39 again. And by the way, we will be opening, uh, we'll be opening one more box of gold against Rhyme Style. That'll probably be the last box of gold I open, uh, for a while at least, because we have opened quite a bit. Miracle Fusion. But that'll be on Monday or Sunday. This Sunday. Yeah, not Monday. There we go. Ghost Bell. That's really nice. The alternate art secret rare. Pretty cool. Alright, we have to. Whoa, okay. How did I do this wrong? I did this wrong somehow still. I messed it up. Herald of the Arc Light. Cyber Dragon Core. Unexpected die. It's another good rare. That was like a $10 rare for a while. Like before this, it was a $10 rare. All right, let's go, um, okay, we have two of each, so this will work out fine. So we didn't mess it up. Okay, we got a perfect opening there. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Melody Awakening Dragon. What is this one called? I don't remember. What is this? What is this? Rum. Rum. <laughs> Secret, I don't know what that is. That is, oh no, that's a, I can't remember. Uh, it looks familiar though. It looks very familiar. Noble Knight Dryson. I think I'm doing pretty good, honestly, for a lot of these cards that I didn't really realize I knew what they were. Foolish Burial. Kitchen Dragon Maiden might be worth like a dollar, I think. Not a bad pull. So, gold kind of... Okay, so we have, we have a gold rare in here. Let's save that one for last. Let's go with the maximum gold. This is going to be pretty close. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Who's going to win this? Come on, Blue Eyes. Oh, Ash Blossom Alt Art. And Super Poly. What a last pack. That's a great last pack. Ash Blossom. We got both arts of Ash Blossom and a Super Poly, which is worth a little bit. Okay, final pack. We have gold. Here we go. The final pack. Let's see who wins. Will it be the Rarity Collection? Will it be the English Maximum Gold? Here we go. What could it be? What could the Gold Rare be? Oh, that's pretty good. Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre. Is this? This is the original art, right? No, is this? No, this is alternate art. I, I get confused. This is the alternate art from Dude. Yeah, and it's gold rare. That looks incredible. Let's, let's check this out. Man, look how shiny it is over there. That is awesome. Their, their print quality was just better. Ours looks good, but there was just terrible print quality. So let's go over what we got. Maximum gold pulled pretty well, I would say. We pulled two Ash Blossoms. We had a Poly. We had a Super Poly. We had a Tour Guide. Elglitch, Stratos, and I feel like I'm saying Eldlitch. Eldlitch, not Glitch. And then a blue eyes white dragon. So that is pretty good pulls from gold out of 15 packs. And then 
we pulled pretty good out of here too. I don't know exactly what's good. I just pulled out some decent cards that, you know, were in nice rarities. That's probably a good card. The Infinite Impermanent Secret Rare. Foolish Burial, the Harpy's Feather Duster, another Impermanence. So that's only the Ultra Rare version. Then we have our two Collector's Rares right off the bat. Definitely probably my favorite pull of the entire video. The Collector's Rare Original Art Monster Reborn and then the Gold Rare Ghost Ogre. So that was really awesome. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys think Rarity Collection one or Maximum Gold one? Do you prefer Rarity Collection Rarities or our Rarities? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, BOOM!